Let's turn this into this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a stylized slide and make a more realistic slide out of it. First, let's go make the other variant. So I edit in sequencer, bake it to a control rig. So now we want to make this slightly less obnoxious. So he speeds up right there and we want it to be a little shorter. So we'll jump down. Well, so actually I can just show you. The main thing that's going to drive this location, I can independently change the body control and then each of the feet and slide them around wherever I like. But since I, this is a root motion animation and I want the root to go with it, I'm just going to edit the body offset control here. So let's go look at what's happening. So they're in the Y dimension. So the body offset control, you can tell here, I'll go to his uh, local coordinate space and you see the blue is up, green is forward. So that is standard Unreal coordinate space as you can see right here. He's in world space effectively at this point. So this green is the only one that we really need to worry about if we're trying to slow him down. And you notice you can see the velocity change right there. He goes, he speeds up. And so let's just get rid of that. Um, let's see here, we'll find out. So the actual, and I'm gonna use M to mark my spots. This can cause, so I, the reason I sped this up right here, you want, there's a feeling of, you don't want it to be too linear. And so that little speed up right there, and then we can actually slow him down here. So I think we're gonna leave that speed up alone and then we're just gonna keep this. And that slow down and speed up is what causes it to feel dynamic. And then when he gets back out of it right there. So, all right, so now we have our two marks. This is the part we're going to slow down. So I'll go select those keys, delete them. And now all I have to do is grab these and just slide them down and get it to feel a little more linear. And sure enough, so now he's going too slow, right? So we'll just bring it up a little bit. Try to get it to keep the trend. And there you go. Now we have a nice slow animation that feels a little more physically accurate. And now we'll select our main actor in the sequencer, select bake animation sequence to output our modified animation. And by the time you see this video, it'll be up on the Discord. While I was editing this video, thanks to RMC on Discord for pointing this out. The animation looks great as long as you don't care what the root bone is doing. So we have one more modification to make. I'm going to show you how to correct that before exporting your animation sequence. So you'll notice this is the root right here, the arrow, and we've been messing with the body offset control. But as you can see, the root is still following the old trajectory before we slowed the animation down. So, and that should be pretty apparent if I select the location Y of the body offset control and do the same with the root control. Yep, there you go. They're both in world space. And so you're seeing that it's the root is still doing the old trajectory. So that's an easy fix. We just go select the body offset control, control A to select everything, control C to copy. Then we go over to the root, control A again to select everything, press delete, make sure we're at frame zero, control V to paste. And now as we move through, you'll see the arrow stays perfectly underneath the character, just like you'd want it to. Then you uh, do the usual right click, bake animation sequence, write it out, and everything's good to go. Sorry about that. Like and subscribe if you found this useful, and let me know in the comments if there are any other videos you'd like to see.